drone boat tips in EVE Online to make sure that you're flying whatever ship it is with drones to the best of your ability. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. Name's Laura Root, digital advertiser, content creator, and EVE Enjoyer. For the better part of 10 years now, and we are going to be checking out some drone tips here. Let me switch over here. The first tip that I have for you is about skills, okay? Make sure when you're doing your drone boat and all things drones that you focus on the skills that are a race agnostic, okay? This is the stuff that is going to benefit all kinds of drones, not just one race's kinds of drones. So drone interfacing, drone durability, drone sharpshooting, anything that is like not going to be dependent on a specific kind of drone, you want to focus on those first. That kind of goes that saying, but we have a whole video on how to skill up your character. Go check that out. Sub for more, the entire thing. Okay, so that's the first tip. Check out your drone skills that are race agnostic. All right. The second one I want to talk to you about is don't underestimate drone nav speed. This is how fast your drones are going. Typically, most drones, we're going to talk about sniper drones, but most drones don't do damage until they're on top of a target. So the faster your drone is going, the more consistent damage it's going to do. Essentially, the taxiing time that it takes for your drone to get from your ship to the enemy ship is wasted, wasted time because it's not doing any damage. So don't sleep on drone nav speed. We go a step further and we have an entire video on this, Dominic, so let's definitely go check that out and enjoy. We actually put a drone nav computer tech 2 in our main drone boat, our Dominic's. Got to increase the speed, the max velocity of drones by 30%. All those super slow ships, the geckos, the wasps, the heavy drones, they go much faster with that don't sleep on drone nav speed okay now let's talk about the best drone by situation okay this is going to be like a bit of a very top level quick rapid fire stuff so feel free to pause rewind all that kind of thing okay typically with drones you want to use your light drones to fight frigates and below so like other enemy drones uh you get those level fours where there's those spider drones flying around you right you're going to throw out your light drones these are going to have better tracking speed and they're also going to be able to go faster so they can keep up with those fast craft the faster the ship goes the smaller the drone typically you what you want to use so i normally use hornets that's the caldari stuff for frigates and other light drones to fight from there if you're fighting some kind of something like a cruiser or something that's that size you're going to use your medium drones and typically this is where that kind of stuff stops everything above a cruiser you're just going to use heavy drones okay but if i'm using cruisers or some are, or some slower frigate depending on the mission i'm going to throw out some medium drones okay anything above a cruiser you're going to get your heavy drones we're going to talk about geckos in just a sec but use your heavy drones if it's above a cruiser these are going to be your wasps your ogres all that kind of stuff let's talk about sniper drones for a sec sniper drones are great they're one of the main strengths of this uh, Dami, this is space potato. They're fantastic. You're going to really use these if there's those stationary level four targets where there's like turrets or something to that effect. Because if your drones, typically they're very far from each other. And if your drones have a taxi to one, kill it. Taxi to another one, kill it. Taxi, oh, that's so annoying. It's going to waste a lot of time. So recall your mobile drones, drop your sniper drones into field, pop that turret next, pop that target next. No wasted time. Now, you do have to be, you, your ship has to be stationary when this is happening. Otherwise, you have to taxi back to your sniper turrets in order, sniper drones, excuse me, in order to get them back. But that's the trade-off there. You don't waste time with your drones taxiing killing. Instead, you trade that by you are stationary. When those are done, recall your sniper drones and put out your gank squad, your drone kill squad, all that stuff. Uh, my next tip for you is get you a gecko. <laughs> <laughs> get you some geckos these are heavy drones they're technically classified as heavy drones but they're basically a fighter that you can use in the heavy drone slot now they do not necessarily they don't take too many skills uh they benefit from heavy drone specialization i think but they are a lot of money they're about 100 million a piece the reason is they do all drone damage all damage types, excuse me, not drone damage, but they do all damage types. So they're a catch-all. They're one of the reasons that our Dami does so well. I'll show you the drone kill squad we use with the geckos, okay? We use, we do not do one gecko and three wardens. Eve, you're drunk. Thank you very much. We use two geckos, two Vespas, and one Hornet. This is going to give uh, 821 DPS with my current skills with just drones with our then guns on there as well. We do over a thousand DPS with this Dami. This is not, this is a Navy Dominics, but still a battleship doing a thousand DPS like this with this much tank. Excellent stuff. So get you some geckos. Save up for them. 
spend the money, get your DPS going up and up. Okay. One of the other things I want to talk to you about is increasing your drone's combat effectiveness. So you're not just going to slap some drone on, some drones in, get yourself a Navy Domini with the like plus drone stuff and then call it a day. No, no, no. You're going to get the items that are going to increase your drone's effectiveness. We start with damage. We got three drone damage amplifiers in there and then we go to tracking speed. That's how I like to do it. It's what I've had the best success in. Instead of having three tracking speed, and one damage, I want to increase the base damage so that when I hit consistently, I'm doing the most, okay? From the drone damage amplifier, then you're going to go into the omnidirectional tracking link. This is going to increase the optimal range and tracking speed of drones, increase the chance they're going to hit stuff and the range at which they can hit stuff. This is, again, how I've had the most success with my drone fits is going for damage first, then to tracking speed. So I would start there. Uh, the next thing I want to talk to you about is consider a webifier. We're going to talk about uh, this special fit on our, our Proteus in a future video. Sub for more, you know what to do. Consider a webifier, just like other damage dealing methods in EVE. If something's going slower, their signature radius is easier to hit, and they're not moving as fast, so the track speed really gets some crits in there. So consider a webifier, depending on what kind of fit you're running to make the ship you're shooting at locked down and let the drones go go ham on things. This is typically going to be used on a Vexor or a Proteus, if you're going the Galenta route that I did, but typically more of a medium ship, something that can get on top of a ship and stay on it. I don't use one of my Dominics for obvious reasons. Okay. The next one is going to be Salvage Drone. Salvage drones are some of my favorite things in EVE when they got released, and the dunk salvage drones we use a lot in the Dami. If I'm trying to salvage stuff, they replace. They're kind of cute, actually. Hey, there's a little, little cute drone boy. He's salvaging stuff. He's tearing up parts. It's really funny. He's got like an R2-D2 head. The point is, is that this, since I have five of them, is going to be able to tech two salvage. It replaces that on five wrecks. So if I'm taxiing on my Dami, she's got a big ass. She's takes some time to get to the warp gate. You know what I'm saying? So I'm salvaging some stuff. This is going to be an easy way to get some free money coming in. You're already taxiing. You might as well get some extra uh, bits of stuff to sell at Jitta and call it a day. So salvage drones. Don't be sleeping on salvage drones. All right. The final point I have for you for drones is consider them ammo. You're going to lose drones. It's okay. I got a bunch of drones saved up in my like, you know, various reasons and methods that I have all these in here. Save your drones, consider them ammo. You're going to lose some drones. That's okay. You're not spending money on ammo per se. You know, I'm, I'm, I have a gun boat here as well, in addition to drones, but you're not going to be spending money on as much ammo because you're running drones. Consider them ammo, right? So when you lose one, don't worry about it. If you use hornets like I do, go buy 10 instead of five. Maybe you're using five, go buy 10. That way you have some extras and you're ready to go. You minimize your downtime. So that's going to do it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for the future stuff. There's going to be a bunch of EVE videos popping up in just a moment. If you want to see the fits for all the ships that you saw today, make sure you check out the EVE playlist, and we'll see you in the next video.